In the 1930s, Don the Beachcombers in Hollywood was a scene. Famous celebrities, business magnates, and even the prying eyes of other future exotic cocktail creators, they all flocked to Don's. And it makes a lot of sense why it became so popular. It was escapism, it was showmanship, and being in Hollywood meant utilizing some of the movie magic and the location helped spread the word as well. Celebrities showed up and they are covered in the newspapers around California and around the United States. The showmanship came in many ways, exotic drinks with names from far off places. It's also said that Don would turn on a hose or a sprinkler outside to either simulate rain to make you think you're in a tropical location or maybe just to keep you inside a little bit longer. Another aspect of the show was the flaming coffee grog, a drink of hot coffee, gardenia mix, and rums presented to you tableside and ignited by Don himself. The recipe for Don the Beachcomber's coffee grog comes from Sip and Safari and the unpublished notebook of Mater D. Dick Santiago. The drink's secret ingredient, its special ingredient really, is gardenia mix, a mix of spices, honey, and of course, butter. Other than the Pearl Diver, I believe the coffee grog is the only other drink to utilize Don's gardenia mix. But I don't want to light my rum on fire, not the good kind at least, and since it's technically still officially summer, I'd rather make an iced coffee drink or two. What would Don do with easy access to modern espresso machines and cold brew coffee? Honestly, I don't know what he would do if he had access to these things, but I've come up with two of these coffee drinks that we can make today. And to make these drinks, we need the modern day gardenia mix, which I've already shared in the Pearl Diver video I did a few months ago, but I've made some small adjustments to bring down the butter and increase the other spices, and I'm preparing it like the Tropical Standard Book does, but not the same exact recipe as theirs. This one is different. So here's a recipe for Don's Gardenia Mix 2.1. Half an ounce of butter, one ounce of honey, half an ounce of cinnamon syrup, half an ounce of vanilla syrup, and a quarter ounce of a pimento or allspice dram. Now for the recipe that I'm gonna show you how to make right now, I've actually multiplied those ingredients by five to make a larger batch. And after you make your cocktails, you can even store this in the freezer. Start with some unsalted butter, and I'm gonna warm up two and a half ounces of butter in the microwave. That's about five tablespoons. Now on the stove top, I'm gonna to add five ounces of honey. Two and a half ounces of cinnamon syrup. Two and a half ounces of vanilla syrup. These are both a two to one syrup. And one and a quarter ounces of a pimento or allspice shrimp. This is my own that I made that uses Plantation 3 Stars and Plantation OFTD. We'll cover that another time. Okay, after the mixture comes to a simmer, we're gonna add in three grams of 210S. We're gonna whisk that to combine. Lastly, we're gonna add in the melted butter and whisk. The 210S is completely necessary. Without it, your gardenia mix will turn into a clumpy mess, but there's an alternative you can use and I'll put it in the recipe in the episode's description. Let's go ahead and make both drinks and then taste them at the same time. First up, we're gonna make a gardenia shakerado where we will need some fresh espresso. First, I'm gonna pull a double shot of espresso, which is about two ounces. Into our shaker tin, we're gonna add two ounces of espresso, four ounces of milk. I'm using whole milk here because that's what I have on hand and it's better. Three quarter ounces of our gardenia mix. And then just one ounce of a gold Barbados rum. 
And I like something that's aged here. Add a cup of ice to your shaker tin and just shake this as hard as you can. this with an orange twist. Next up, let's make Don's cold brew grog. Into a drink mixer tin, I'm gonna add five drops of a saline solution or just a pinch of salt. Half an ounce of half and half. One full ounce of our gardenia mix. Four ounces of cold brew coffee, some strong stuff. Half an ounce of a demerara rum. And one ounce of a Jamaican rum. I'm gonna add one cup of nugget ice and I'm gonna flash blend this for five to 10 seconds. For this one, I'm gonna garnish with an orchid. All right, let's start with the Gardenia Shakerado. So first of all, the rum is there. You can taste it just a little bit. That's why I like using an aged Barbados rum here because you can kind of just like tone down the flavor a little bit from something like really intense Jamaican rum, but you're still getting like that real quintessential rum taste in it, but it's just a hint, like it's almost not noticeable. So you could definitely up this if you wanted to. That gardenia mix, you know, you're not tasting the butter, but you are getting texture and flavor from those spices in there, from your vanilla, from your cinnamon, from your pimento or your allspice dram, those all come through. And I will say, I, I've i made a lot of, in my life, a lot of iced coffee drinks at home. This is one of the best that I've ever had. It's just that combination of the espresso, as well as the hints of the rum in there. It's, um, this is fantastic. All right, now to the Don's Cold Brew Coffee Grog. The flavor there is just way more intense than the shaker out of one. Obviously we're using an ounce and a half of rum in this one. And we're just not using, you know, half an ounce more. We're using rums that pack a little more flavor than the Barbados rum. Oh yeah, the Demerara rum, the Jamaica rum, as well as the cold brew. It's just a more sort of like intense, uh, in your face, like coffee and rum flavor. It's uh, much different than this one. This one is uh, the Shakerado. It's, it's more delicate, it's more nuanced. This one just sort of hits you in the face with coffee and rum. Both of these wonderful cold coffee recipes in the honor of the tradition of Don the Beachcomber with Don's Gardenia Mix, a modern approach to the Gardenia Mix. And you can see, here's the Gardenia Mix here. This is lighter than the one I made before because we are using less butter in this one. And if you look at these drinks, they're the texture in these. It's just consistent. It is completely emulsified. There are no clumps of butter. There's no curds of butter floating to the top like you would have if you made a traditional pearl diver using the traditional Dawn's Pearl Diver Gardenia mix. So I would highly recommend you get some 210S if you wanna be making these. This will keep in the fridge for a while, but I am going to take most of this and put it into a Ziploc bag in the freezer. And that way in the future, if I ever need Don's Gardenia Mix, it is ready to go on hand. So that's it for this one. I'm Derek, this is Make and Drink. This is two uh, Don the Beachcomber inspired cold coffee drinks using an updated 
Gardenia mix, uh, building off of the Don's Gardenia mix that he made back in the 1930s. So if you're out there and you need an upper and a downer, these are two wonderful cocktails right here. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like below, consider subscribing to the channel and otherwise, see you in the next one.